Uh, thanks for speaking with us today. Uh, well, tell us about the importance of being here today. Well, I think that uh, I, I've come to know uh, Grand Chief Little Child for a long time, and uh, I mean, it's contagious in terms of the importance of sport. Sport is a medicine. This is uh, this is where we learn how to work together, where we learn we don't win all the time. It's about resilience. It's about working hard and uh, dignity, pride. It's uh, it's a very special day. Have you had a chance to meet any of the um, other Indigenous participants from around the world? Well, we, we have uh, mainly just the volunteers that are looking after them, but obviously uh, to have uh, Dr. Sharon Frith here and uh, the elder, I mean, this is uh, very exciting. They're sort of, um, they're national treasures. Uh, it was understood that Prime Minister Trudeau was going to deliver a video address. Is that going to be happening tonight? That's a very good question. Um, I don't actually know. So um, I, I uh, am uh, I'm here representing uh, I think uh, the government of Canada and uh, hopefully all parliamentarians and that uh, it's this is a very special event. There was a bit of a contentious weekend with Canada 150 celebrations. Uh, is it a re relief to have it over or is it, was it cathartic? How, how did how did that all go for you? Well, I, I, we had uh, a, um, an emotional time at my Canada Day picnic, uh, but yesterday I was able to meet with the organizers, help them with their feeding uh, and sharing of food and clothing with the homeless in downtown Toronto, and we had a very good chat for a couple hours. So, you know, I think that again, uh, July 2nd is probably a little bit easier as we move into the next 150 years, or as the button I had on on uh, Saturday night said, uh, um, 30,150 and I think that that's I think where we want to go I think that there's probably not a day that goes by that I'm not quoting Gord Downey that uh, we have 150 years behind us to learn from and 150 years ahead of us and we just have to get to work and so nights like tonight are, are part of that good work Okay, and finally, tomorrow you're going to be in Alexis First Nation, I believe. Yeah. Can you give us a little sneak peek about what, what's going on there? Well, I think it is about one of the most important things that we're trying to do, which is to make sure everybody has uh, um, can turn on the tap and drink the water. So, uh, water infrastructure <laughs> then? Uh, th yep. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably be there tomorrow, so I'll bug good, you Good, 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 good. Anything good. else you'd like to add, Mr. Beck? Um, it's a... Uh, I, I just am, um, um, I, I guess the one thing that I want people to know is that on uh, in downtown Toronto, on Saturday morning at 5.15, almost 300 people showed up for the sunrise ceremony. That this is, I think, reconciliation in action. People know what they didn't learn in school, non-Indigenous people, and that, that this is, I hope that as we move into these next days, these next years, that again, that the 96% of Canadians not from an Indigenous background uh, will begin to, to really understand um, the, the painful history of our country and, uh, and uh, really begin that work of reconciliation. Or, as Willie Littlechild says, reconciliation. <laughs> All right, well put. Enjoy your evening. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks very much.